So Google has finally launched its service named Backstory. It is a cyber security service. So in this video, we'll basically be looking at as to what it is, how it works and what are its purposes. All right. So let's begin. So before we begin on to the main topic of this video, I'd like to introduce you to something known as SIEM and in the full form of SIEM is security information and event management. In this basically what happens is that uh, see there are many companies that provide cyber security services all right if you have watched the tv show named mr robot over there you saw a company named all safe in which elliot elderson was working that company provided the cyber security service for the comp bigger company named e corp so similarly there are many companies in the world that provide cyber security services all right and SIEM or security information and event management is a set of software products or services that these companies provide for the cyber security services to bigger companies. All right. So these are set of softwares or appliances or even managed services that these companies provide as products to bigger companies as a cyber security service. So what is backstory? Google's one-year-old cybersecurity venture named Chronicle. I'm pretty sure you know that Google is not a uh, not a 100% company. All right, by 100% company, I mean it is actually owned by a company named Alphabet. So similarly, the, uh, you can call Google's brother Chronicle. There is another company named Chronicle that provides cybersecurity services. All right, so they have designed this product named Backstory. Now, what this will do is basically it will provide cyber security services to bigger companies, whoever oh, seeks to uh, avail the cyber security services provided by uh, the company named Chronicle. So the, what the companies will need to do is that they'll need to upload their data, their petabytes of data, the data they generate every day to the backstory server. And in the backstory server, there will be some machine learning and all that stuff that will basically analyze those data and give the results as to whether a cyber attack has taken place or not. Now let's take an example. Uh, let's say that there is an employee who does not have much knowledge about uh, cyber security or information security in general. And let's say he got an email from uh, some from someone unknown and that was a phishing link and he that employee basically clicked on the link which basically which obviously downloaded a malware into the computer and that malware simply seized all the computers here of that company. Now this is basically something uh, that can happen if let's say you have an employee that does not have much knowledge about information security and when that malware gets downloaded to the computer your company will obviously not know because the ones who designed that particular malware will not obviously not design it in such a way that it will you know generate alerts in the antivirus or generate alerts in the firewall. It will stay silently in the computer. It will stay silently in the system so that uh, at the end of the day, it can exploit each and every system out there on the comp out there in the office or in the servers. Now, what, now everything that happens uh, behind the scenes, like uh, the log data that are generated, such as DNS traffic, net flow, etc. These data will need to be packed up and uploaded to the backstory server. And the backstory server will basically analyze those data and point out, okay, this one is, this one is probably a DOS attack. Okay, let's now investigate that this is a DOS attack. This type of a DOS attack has taken place at this particular time, at this particular date. Now let's give it to the incident response team to investigate as to where from the attack took place, uh, how many computer, uh, how much damage that the attack has done to the done to the company, this, that, all these types of things. So backstory works in this way. All right. Now, how to avail the service? Now, this is basically a very simple way. There is basically a very simple way to avail the service. Now, obviously, the companies will need, uh, read to, uh, need to uh, reach out to the Chronicle company and to avail this particular service. And they'll all obviously have to register and do all the negotiations and all that stuff that obviously the company uh, company people know i myself don't know so as said the companies will need to upload the data into the backstory server so as to analyze those data and give a proper result all right now obviously these type of services are not provided for free 
and it's not for common people like you and me it's provided for bigger companies and bigger companies obviously pay a certain sum of money to these uh, types of cyber security companies or cyber security uh, service providers to avail the services all right so similarly back uh, whoever wants to avail the services provided by backstory they will need to uh, pay a sum of money now in general you might think that okay uh, if a company wants to avail the service then the pricing will obviously be done in such a way that uh, let's say a company uploads a one petabyte of data uh, every day and there's another company that uploads two petabytes of data every day now obviously you might be thinking that the one which uploads larger amounts of data in a certain amount of time will obviously be charged more but uh, intelligently or fortunately the pricing hasn't been done in that way but indirectly you can say that it has been done in that way but the actual phenomena or the actual formula the pricing has been done is that if let's say there's a company a and let's say there's another company b and if the company a is a bigger company in terms of wealth in terms of reach everything then even if that company doesn't produce much amounts of data even if that company doesn't produce larger amounts of data still that company will be charged more compared to the company b which is smaller in size so as you can see in the second point over here the pricing has been done in a very clever way the charges for availing the services of backstory will be required to be paid in accordance with the size of the company and not according to the amount of data the companies upload to the servers so this is a very intelligent way to you know uh, do the pricing and all that stuff another example could be if if in a real world uh, hypothetically speaking if in the real world let's say uh, uh, microsoft wants to avail this service and on the other hand let's say a company like tata wants to avail this service now obviously microsoft will be charged more compared to tata because microsoft is a bigger company compared to tata in terms of uh, wealth everything all right so microsoft will be charged more compared to tata but even if tata uploads more and more data to this server still it will be charged lesser compared to microsoft even if even microsoft is uploading lesser amounts of data to the backstory server all right so that was all about it for this video in this video we basically discussed a cyber security service you can check the description from where i got this particular news and in that particular news itself the poc or you can say that the procedure to use this particular service has been provided the video i think it's by the official team i i haven't cross checked it uh, i've just found the video embedded in that particular article so i simply uh, saw the seen the video and it's i think it is uploaded by the official team all right you can go ahead and check it out as to how this particular system or this particular service works so that's it for this video and if you did like this video then do hit the thumbs up button and i am seeing that for the in the past couple of videos that i am i am working hard you people are not liking the videos so please like the video if you did like it i am not asking you to just press the thumbs up button if you did like the video then please uh, hit the thumbs up button if you want if you want to give some suggestions as to in this regard the channel needs a, this type of an improvement or something you can obviously mention those in the comments i'll be very happy if you mention such things in the comments even if it goes against the channel if you think that this thing should not be done in the channel still i'll be very happy to accept your uh, valuable uh, words all right so that's it for this video and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace.